Hi everyone, so time for another video. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to kick off the long promised series around getting the best out of 40 manager. So um, the first step here is to um, register the 40 manager. Um, we're going to use the 40 net software as a service platform or 40 cloud uh, offering. Um, so log into my partner account, jump over to partner connected accounts and uh, jump into 40 bytes. Product list, we're going to register a new appliance when it lets us. Yeah, register more. So we usual we get the usual entitlements. So Forty Manager Cloud should be ten devices for two months. Set the terms and conditions. Yeah, so for two months, second of February, give us more than enough time. So that should be, that should pop up um, under account services, I believe. Yeah, 40 Manager Cloud there. So if I go to services and then 40 Manager Cloud. So yeah, I should have the ability to spin up a new instance. So um, Germany is the most local to me, GMT plus one, submit. Yeah. And then after six minutes, the instance should be ready to go. So I will skip the video and let you know when it's complete. Okay, so after six minutes or so, we're down to the last five seconds. Um, then we should be able to get into our instance. Okay, so um, after about 10 minutes actually, um, I'm able to enter into the instance. So you can see it's been provisioned in Germany. Uh, it's got the CPUs at 16.5% and the RAMs at 5%. Enter into there. And as you can see, just a, just a, your standard 40 manager, as you would expect it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the appliance upgraded to um, 7.4, I should say. Um, and then we're going to have two hubs. They're going to be running um, 7 to 6 and three or four spokes running 7 to 6. Um, to make things interested, all going to be deployed in, in public cloud, um, but I'm going to deploy in different cities. Um, the next video will likely cover how to add the appliances into 40 Manager, uh, and then we'll start with some of the templates that are available, building a, an ADVPN mesh out and that kind of thing. So let's check the compatibility. So um, docs.fortinet.com, um, 40 Manager, make sure that we're on 7.4. I'm aiming for 741, but we're not sure yet. There should be a compatibility matrix with 40 OS. Compatibility with 40 OS. Okay, so when we get inside the compatibility matrix, um, you've got the 40 manager version at the top, and we're aiming for 741. And then along the bottom, you've got the 40 OS version, and we are aiming for 726. And as you can see, if you go all the way across to the latest and greatest here, then you can see that it's compatible with 741. So that's what we will go with. Just something to call out. So um, as we previously said, we want 741 for our 40 manager version. So that's compatible with um, the gates that we're going to deploy in on um, 726. Um, 
if you try to do the upgrade, you do not have the option for, you only have the two options for 7010 and 724. So what you need to do is you need to contact TAC or customer services, uh, raise a support ticket and just simply tell them to upgrade to your desired version. Um, and in this case with immediate effect because it's not in production. So what I'll do is I'll skip along the video or, um, and continue on when that upgrade has happened. Okay, so just to update, um, after a little while, um, 741 became available in the portal. So I went to 724 first. So let's just log in there and have a look where we are now. Yep, so as you can see, um, we are now on 741. You can see the history here if you want. Um, Initially started on 7.0 something, then moved to 7.2.4, then went to 7.4.1. Okay, so this is the 40 manager blank canvas, let's say. It's on the right version um, now. You'll see that there's nothing in device manager at all. There shouldn't be, no devices. Uh, there's no scripts, no templates, no firmware templates, nothing. Uh, it's all blank. So have a look in the uh, system settings. Um, new feature, ADOM supported in Fortnite Manager Cloud now, but we won't be using ADOMs in this video. Administrator has just been the default um, settings. Is there anything that we need to change here? Uh, no, we don't care about the banner or anything like that. Network, you don't touch in um, 40 um manage a cloud well you can but you'll break it so don't touch it um so is there anything in particular uh workspace settings will keep us disabled for the minute so uh there should be no metadata in there either um and there isn't so um let's just leave it at that so yeah in the next video um i won't show the spinning up of the public cloud resources. Um, I'll put something in the top right hand corner. There's, there's already videos on how to do that in GCP, Amazon Web Services and Azure. Um, but we, we, we will kick off from adding the devices into Forti Manager. So we'll see you in the next video.